in this place, we lift up a fresh surrender to you, God. Lord, we thank you so much for all of your blessings. And God, we ask that no matter how wonderful or how challenging this day may have been, God, we leave everything at the door. God, we fix our eyes solely upon you, Lord. We come against all distractions. We come against all half-heartedness. We come against all indifference, God. And Lord, our confession before you is that we want to be fully captivated by your beauty here in this place. We want to feel an intimate oneness with you, Lord. So we thank you, God, that you're releasing a fresh grace in this room. You're releasing a fresh grace uh, in this prayer tabernacle for us to truly enter into the Holy of Holies. Uh, to pray out deeper revelations from your word, God. We thank you, Lord. And so right now we're going to go into a time of reading and singing from the word. So if you have your Bibles with you, I want to... Uh, invite you to please open up to the book of Ephesians chapter 3. We'll be starting with Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. And tonight uh, we're actually going to be praying for the nation of Israel both through the word of God and through points of intercession later on um, in the evening. starting with Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. Oh, and also to provide a little bit of context, uh, yesterday was actually the first night of Passover, which is a very important Jewish holiday. So as we pray out from the word of God and as we intercede, we'll be alluding to this very uh, important commemoration and celebration a lot. So let's open up to Ephesians chapter 3, starting with verse 16 that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being. And Lord, during this Passover week, we lift up to you the nation of Israel. You, O oh God, are rich in glory. And Lord, we speak the riches of your glory, the riches of your presence over Israel and over the Jewish people. Lord, just like you revealed your glory to Moses on Mount Sinai, God, reveal your glory to Israel. Encounter your sons and daughters in a powerful and undeniable way. Lord, all across the nation tonight, encounter them, Lord. Let it be in this place of encounter that all falsehood, that all deception, that all pride melts away. And Lord, let it be in this place of glory that your children are established in the truth. Lord, let it be in this place of glory that your people are strengthened with power through the Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit, strengthen the people of Israel. Holy Spirit, strengthen the Jewish people in their inner being. Lord, encounter and strengthen Israel. Lord, make Israel to be a people of your presence.
across Israel tonight, God. Strengthen your people in Israel, God. Let your spirit be poured out tonight. Strengthen them, Lord. Let your spirit be poured out. Encounter your children tonight, Lord. Let your spirit be poured out tonight. Lord, just as you encountered Moses, encounter them, Lord.
Be home. 
comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge. And Lord, won't you open up eyes not only to the love of God, but also to the mercy and redemption manifest in Christ. Lord, we speak forth strength over the Jewish people to comprehend this love, this love of Christ, the vastness and glory of Christ's love. Lord, release strength for the Jewish people to comprehend the vastness of this love, this love from Christ that surpasses knowledge, this love that the Jewish people may have dismissed and may have been opposed to for generations. God, won't you release strength tonight, God? Release strength tonight all across the nation of Israel. Release strength tonight to every person in this nation to comprehend and to receive and to personally know the vastness of Christ's love. Love is wide, your love is high, there is no end to your love, it was by your love you came, by your love you came to us, there were laws and regulations, but you came for love. No limit to how much you give to us, oh God. You made the way for your bride and your unchanging love for Israel goes beyond the time. You are longing so deep to capture the
not some prophet, you're not just a teacher, but you are the Savior, the Messiah they've been waiting for, God. Would you open up their hearts? Would you open up their eyes to see you rightly? To see you rightly? Would you open up their hearts? Would you open up their eyes to see you rightly?
declare that truly you are the way, the truth, and the life. We declare this over the entirety of Israel. We thank you, God, that 2,000 years after the uh, first triumphant entry into Jerusalem, we thank you that tonight, Jesus, you're making a triumphant entry into the city once again. Lord, reveal who you are, Jesus. Jesus, reveal who you are, that you are Yeshua, that you are Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior, King for the Jewish people. Uh, continue to speak to us, God, even more deeply of the truth of who you are, specifically in relation to your beloved Israel, Lord. We thank you, God.
acknowledge the sweetness of your presence here tonight. Lord, we acknowledge the sweetness of your presence. And God, we just breathe in your presence here tonight. God, we thank you, Lord, for the honor and privilege of being able to commune with you in this way. God, we thank you for your peace that is permeating all throughout this tabernacle. God, this peace that is just settling our hearts, God, that's settling our souls, Lord. And God, would you continue to speak to us more and more uh, from your word. Continue to speak to us, continue to root us in truth and revelation of who you are, God, and who we are in you, Lord. We thank you, God. So we're going to continue on with the portion of singing intercession in the word if you have your bibles i invite you to open up again to ephesians chapter 3 ephesians chapter 3 of your glory filling this nation and its people. Lord, may Israel be filled with the fullness of your grace. May Israel be filled with the fullness of mercy. May Israel be filled with the fullness of glory. May Israel be filled with the fullness of creativity. May Israel be filled with the fullness of strength. May Israel be filled with the fullness of power. May Israel be filled with the fullness of love. Fill up this nation, Lord. Fill up this nation, Israel. Fill up this nation. Let every aspect of your goodness, let every aspect of your character fill up and flow over the borders of this nation to the nations around it. Lord, won't you mark Israel with the fullness of who you are? Mark Israel with the fullness of your glory and your goodness, God. Yes, Lord. Would you fill your people with more of you? With the fullness of God. Fullness of your love. Love that goes before and after.
everything will be answered, that everything will be, will be revealed through the love of Christ. And God, we thank you so much that as a result, God, of us singing and um, praying through the word that you're releasing the fullness of Christ's love over the nation of Israel. Continue to reveal and release the fullness of the love of Christ over this nation and encounter your children, God, your children in the nation of Israel.
so writing off the momentum of us declaring as a body together that a God is holy and he reigns over all we're going to transition into a time of intercession and like I mentioned earlier tonight tonight we'll be uh, praying specifically for the nation of Israel and this is a very significant topic especially because we are in the midst of the Passover week so just to give you a little bit of context I'm going to read to you out of Exodus chapter 12 uh, starting with verse 17 to give you a little bit of explanation as to what Passover is and why it is so important okay so starting from Exodus chapter 12 verse 17 and the Lord says you shall observe the feast of unleavened bread for on this very day I brought your hosts out of the land of Egypt therefore you shall observe this day throughout your generations as a statute forever in the first month from the 14th day of the month at evening you shall eat unleavened bread unto the 21st day of the month at evening so here the Lord is explaining to the Israelites that because uh, sort of as a commemoration of the Lord leading them out of captivity in Egypt they are to abstain from um leavened bread right they are to eat only unleavened bread and then if you continue on to verse 21 then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said to them go and select lambs for yourselves according to your clans and kill the Passover lamb Take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and touch the lintel and the two doorposts with the blood that is in the basin. None of you shall go out of the door of his house until the morning, for the Lord will pass through. The Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to enter your house to strike you. You shall observe this as a right, as a statute for you and your sons forever. Exodus chapter 12. So it is in the spirit of the Passover feast. It is in the spirit of the Passover commemoration that we'll be praying for the nation of Israel tonight. So what I'll be doing is I'll be praying out the point that you see up on the screen and I encourage you to use my intercession as a launching pad for your your own intercession and as you pray I exhort you to pray with the fullness of faith knowing that as you pray that the Lord is going to give you a deeper and deeper revelation of his heart for the nation of Israel amen amen so Lord we thank you so much for the honor and privilege of being able to pray for the nation of Israel tonight and God we honor you we exalt you we glorify you God for the mighty deliverance that you performed God for the Jewish people for the mighty deliverance that you performed freeing them from captivity in Egypt and Lord we thank you that right now that you're releasing a fresh gratitude all across the nation of Israel you're releasing a fresh gratitude God all across the Jewish diaspora for your faithfulness God and for your deliverance but Lord we thank Thank you God that your faithfulness is not just in the past Lord we thank you God that you want to do an even greater deliverance God in our very day God you have to do a greater deliverance God in the present so Lord we speak forth Holy Spirit releasing a greater deliverance in our day breaking bondages God of sin God breaking bondages of shame God breaking bondages that are holding your people captive even today Lord right now we bind up God Lord all residual mental uh, slavery God any slave mentality we break off in Jesus name and we declare that the nation of Israel and we declare that the Jewish people God are walking out in a whole new level of sonship in our day Lord so God we thank you so much for the glorious freedom that the Jewish people have in you and God we thank you God that you're propelling them to a whole new level of freedom in this day God we thank you Lord let's pray we thank you God for your glorious freedom we thank you for your glorious freedom God
forth a full deliverance, God. A full deliverance, Lord. We break up all residual bondage in Jesus' name. we also pray in the spirit of Exodus 12 that Lord just as you command the Jewish people to remove all leaven out of their households God Lord during this week of Passover we thank you God that you're releasing a greater conviction by your spirit you're releasing a greater conviction by your spirit all over the nation of Israel God we pray that you release God the spirit of wisdom and revelation God all over the Jewish people Lord for those who have been denying Christ for those who have been blaspheming against Christ for those who have been insulting the name of Christ Lord we thank you God that you're releasing conviction and revelation to remove this sin from their midst God God you're releasing a grace God for them to remove God to repent of any of this blasphemy against Jesus Christ the Messiah we thank you God that in your grace we thank you that in your grace God you're releasing a full removal of all sin God from the midst of your nation Israel Lord so we thank you God continue to release your spirit of wisdom and revelation wisdom and revelation God that your people will repent God will repent from denying Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior any longer Lord we thank you God full removal of all sin in Jesus name let's pray
the nation of Israel tonight. Lord, we don't declare the blood of an animal sacrifice. Lord, we don't declare, God, the, the strength of human will. But Lord, we declare the blood of Jesus over the nation of Israel and over the entirety of the Jewish diaspora tonight, Lord. And we declare right now, God, that just as you encountered, God, Saul, and you transformed him into the apostle Paul. And Lord, just as you commanded scales to fall off of his eyes, Lord, we declare this as a prophetic sign over the Jewish people, God, all across the nation of Israel, God, and all across the diaspora internationally in Jesus name we declare right now God that your word is living and active it is sharper than any double-edged sword we declare right now the word of God the New Testament the gospel of Christ God jumping off the page God and stirring up a mighty fire in the hearts of your people we speak forth God the full power of the blood of Jesus going forth God over the nation of Israel all over the nation of Israel God over the entirety of the Jewish people the full power of the blood of Jesus speak to them through your word God speak to them through your word God speak to them through the testimony of the apostle Paul Lord and I thank you God that as you encounter your people Lord as you encounter your people that you're going to strategically place God spirit filled believers God to Lord mentor God these new Jewish believers that into a place of spiritual maturity God we thank you God that you're doing a supernatural work in our midst God this very night Lord this very night God this very night in the midst of the Passover week Lord we declare that you're doing a super supernatural word we decree and declare in Jesus name let's pray yes, God. Yes, God. declare the fullness of it in your prayers right now let's pray speak forth the blood of Jesus speak forth the blood of Jesus Lord, we declare it, God. We declare, Lord, that Paul's ceiling will be their floor, God. That Paul's ceiling will be their floor, God. Speak to your people through your word, God. Speak to them through your word, Jesus. all across Israel transformation all across Israel transformation all across the diaspora release your salvation God release your salvation scales fall off of eyes in Jesus name
now we pray in the spirit of John 10, 10 over the nation of Israel. We speak forth abundant life, God, life to the full over the nation of Israel, over the Jewish people, and God, over your church in the nation of Israel, God. We prophesy right now joy, God, the joy of salvation, the joy of salvation, the joy of salvation in you, Jesus, God. Lord, washing over every street, every street in the nation of Israel, God, the joy of your salvation, God, invading hearts all across this nation, all across Bethlehem, all across Jericho, all across Tel Aviv, God. Lord, across all the cities of this nation, the joy of your salvation sweeping through, Lord. And right now, we speak for the revival fire, God. A revival fire over your church in Israel, God. A revival fire over the church in Israel in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you're speaking forth, God, and you're breathing, God, life over dry bones, God, and you're raising up a mighty army, a mighty army in the nation of Israel, God, a mighty army in the Israel church God Lord fresh strength fresh fire God over the messianic Jewish congregations all across the nation of Israel God we speak for the fresh filling of your spirit a fresh filling of your spirit God supernatural signs and wonders God Lord multiplication of fruit God Lord we prophesy life and increase life increase revival and abundance God Lord over your people in Israel over the church in Israel God those who know you Jesus in the nation of Israel let's pray right now speak forth life we speak forth life we speak forth revival we speak forth revival God over the church in Israel Lord we speak forth signs and wonders we speak forth miracle salvation Lord Israel and Lord when we look upon the nation of Israel we cannot help but call it a sign and a wonder that God in the midst of so many enemies so many people who hate them the Lord for decades upon decades you have allowed this nation to flourish you have allowed your people to flourish God in the promised land you have allowed your people to flourish so Lord, we thank you for the honor and privilege of being able to pray for Israel, Lord, specifically during this Passover week. And God, we ask right now as a collective body that you release a fresh grace, God. Release a fresh grace and a fresh conviction to pray for the nation of Israel, to pray for the Jewish people, to pray for the diaspora, God. Lord, release a fresh grace and a fresh conviction. Holy Spirit, release a spirit of wisdom and revelation to each and every person here that will pray for Israel, not only during corporate prayer gatherings, but God, that you will sovereignly stir in our hearts, God. That, Lord, you will stir in our hearts and you'll lead us by your spirit to pray for the nation of Israel. And we ask, God, the same heart that you gave Apostle Paul, that he was willing to give up his salvation for the sake of salvation upon the Jews. The same very heart, God, we ask that you give that heart to us as well. That when we pray for Israel, there will be somewhere a place, God, of genu genuine earnestness, God, seeking your face and seeking your will, seeking your affections, God, for the nation of Israel. 
So we thank you, Lord, that truly as a result of our prayers tonight, as a result of our intercession, as a result of us singing from the word, Lord, that you are doing a mighty thing over the nation of Israel, God. Lord, let your spirit continue to hover. Let your spirit continue to hover over this nation. Continue to encounter your sons and your daughters. Jesus, encounter your children, God. Encounter the children of God in their dreams, Lord. We speak for salvation, revival, abundant life, transformation over the nation of Israel. In Jesus' name. multiply these prayers, Father, all over the earth, God. 
all over earth, God, among your church, God. That you multiply the testimonies that you've written in the past, Lord, all over again, and even more in Israel. Father, we love you. We love your presence. Thank you that you are with us. Thank you that you never leave us. Thank you that your promises are true until the end, God, for eternity. And we thank you, Lord, that your love is the same yesterday, today, and forever for us and for Israel. Yeah, we lift your name up, Jesus. Yeah, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Good Friday is coming up. Um, I want to just... Uh, let you know, guys, that there are some flyers in the back that you can pick up um, for Good Friday AIM service this Friday. Um, just wanted to give you a heads up for that. You can just pick them up. Pick some up for your coworkers, for those around you to join uh, Good Friday service uh, this Friday. Um, so you can pick, like, more than one up, yeah. Uh, and thank you for joining us. Good night, everyone. There's fire. Goodness.